and welcome to that Christian Nerd channel. So today we're going to be playing this game called DC Universe Online. Uh, I found this as I was searching around for free games to download and play on the PlayStation. And I thought this would be really interesting. It's been a really long time since I played like a DC game. Uh, the last one I played personally was Injustice Gods Among Us, which was an amazing game. But that said, I'm excited to get into this. I've heard about character customization and some other things that this game has. So let's check it out. My greatest triumph was at hand. The final campaign in my long war against Superman. While his powers were drained from constant battle, sending him into space to recharge from the Earth's yellow sun, I struck. But my obsession had blinded me the real threat to Earth's true enemy. Concentrate fire on Luthor while I call down some artillery. Deathstroke, time for you to join the party. Something. Greetings, sister. Be 
I am mere man. No. You've lost everything. No. I beat you. Brainiac had returned. For years he'd been stealing the powers of Earth's protectors when we were too busy fighting amongst ourselves to see the danger. With you three dead, Brainiac quickly eliminated the remaining heroes. The lucky ones died fighting. Finally, I alone survived. A rat in the walls of the Brainiac construct. I have traveled through time to warn you. This is my past, but your future. And it means the end of humanity, so together, we must change it. What have you done, Luthor? Given you a fighting chance. He's lying. It's some kind of trap. Why should we trust you? Because if you don't, Earth is doomed. I've stolen Brainiac's exobytes and released them into Earth's atmosphere. They hold the powers stolen from the heroes and villains of my time and will bestow them on anyone they conquer. The exobytes will create a new breed of superhuman to fight Brainiac's invasion. You must teach them to use their new abilities, for they must be on the front line in the coming battle, or my grim future will become your own. I, I am liking this customization so far. Oh, I got you. So the game is free, but you have to pay for certain, you have to pay like a, for a downloadable pack to get certain things. Uh, that's unfortunate, but still doable. Ooh, I like the glow, okay. I see you, I see you. All right guys, so I decided to base the character that I create for this playthrough off of a character I created in my imagination when I was a kid called Chaos, who was like this like magic user and things like that. Um, it's interesting because I couldn't name him Chaos because that name is already taken. So I decided to spell it with a K and then add my last name, Jones, to the character creation. That said, uh, it looks like he's going to have a magic origin. So we're going to be able to defend magic, defy the gods, all pull all that is good, you know. Kind of sounds like uh, the chaos that I created in my imagination when I was a kid way back. I also really like this costume. I, I love the glowing white from the symbols on it. It looks so cool to me. That said, let's get into this, guys. I'm really excited. I haven't, I've been wanting to create a character in a DC game for a really long time, so I'm glad I'm able to create one here. Earth. The center of the multiverse. It will belong to Brainiac. I do not plan an invasion, rather an assimilation. I have identified key junctions in Earth's vast nexus of knowledge. These I will capture and digitize first. Of course, some non-essential information may be captured as well. This will be sorted and purged once the digitizing is complete. Earth's resistance does not concern me. There is no intellect strong enough, or power brutal enough to resist me. Soon this planet and all it contains will be mine. Intriguing. There is an anomaly in Earth's atmosphere. Beginning analysis. These exobytes are my own technology, each one holding unknown stores of digitized power from Earth's future. My harvester ships will simply reclaim the data provided by these exobytes and seal Earth's fate. This is a new obstacle. These 
humans resist my assimilation. My conversion efforts cannot hold them. My visions lose their powers. In the end, they too will belong to Brainiac. Ooh, okay. Need a hand? I'm Superman, and I'm going to get you off this ship. Awesome. I, I... I like how that's Oracle. She's going to help us navigate through Brainiac's defenses. Be on your toes for Brainiac's sentries. Hey man, stop interrupting me. Uh, <laughs> I I like how Superman looks. He looks pretty good. I like how he's not like wearing the red underwear, but instead of red belt, I I always thought the red underwear was a little odd <laughs> for me personally. Oh, I love how I can just click the left stick down and start flying. That's dope. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna destroy everything that I can. Okay, this is how you do the projectiles. Melee? Okay. Nice. Let's go talk with Soups. I'm here. Our exit's blocked. You're gonna need to smash your way through. That's weird. Did it just like skip dialogue again? <laughs> You've attracted some attention. Sentries are headed your way. Oh please, I can deal with them easy. Stop. Here they come. Get ready for the I'm really enjoying the like Marvel Ultimate Alliance feel of this game. I I appreciate that actually. Looks like there's a way out above you. Nice Can combo. You Is there any way to run faster or fly faster? You will not survive the will of Brainiac. Cuz I Oh, what is that? Oh, I feel like I'm flying and running at like a brisk pace. <laughs> Okay. Cool. 
Um, <laughs> a move like that called Vengeance actually fits nice with this character because when I was a kid, the idea of the character was that he wanted to be a superhero but was overcome by his feelings of vengeance and stuff like that. And he was able to access a new form of magic, a very powerful form of magic, but kind of at the expense of losing control uh, due to his seeking vengeance and stuff like that. So I don't know, a, a vengeance blast kind of fits, actually. Yeah, Ooh, it does a lot of damage too, it looks like. But I have to cut through the AI core to get to the exit. Expect heavy defenses. Oh, it'll be easy. How do I there we go. Brainiac's not messing around. Oh. Oh, it grounded me. This will be your doom. Oh jeez. Come on, you got this. Oh, nice. Oh, I like the flying though. I just wish I could move a bit faster. If we destroy it, we can bring this whole ship down. More of the Justice League have arrived to back the Oh, nice. Of Brainiac's attention. Yeah, this this definitely has a Marvel Ultimate Alliance feel to it. Even kind of in graphical quality too. Am I just tripping, or are these gameplay graphics not the greatest the PlayStation 5 can do, you know? I'm not complaining too much, I like it, but especially the two cutscenes, the two cutscenes were great. Definitely have no complaints about that. You got it. Oh. Oh, thanks for healing me. I swear he was trying to hit me <coughs> excuse me he was trying to hit me with melee attacks and he did not hit me I don't know why I took damage there that was kind of weird at least I think that's the case You soups, I'm coming. That looks cool. Yeah, I just wish I could like run a little bit faster, fly a little bit faster.
I love how Superman just stood there the entire time. <clears throat> he did not help me at all. <laughs> Brace yourself. The JL's engaged Brainiac in the hangar. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we gotta go. Looks like the bots are being destroyed. I have your back. Wonder Woman? We've got this. I do appreciate the fact that I can fly, though. Witness now the folly of your efforts. Oh, Nothing boy. can escape the control of Brainiac. Awesome! Oh, being alone with him. That sounds like a great idea. Systems damaged. Ouch. He's definitely hurting me. Recalibrating defenses. Oh, block, block, block. Okay. You got this. You got him. Nice. Let's go. Do not think you have won, for I wear many shells. I am the source. If you're interested in joining the fight for justice, the League would be happy to teach you. <laughs> the pose my character just made. Yes, yes, yes. Teleporters unlocked. Awesome. Your pal Oracle's always got your back. Good, you're here. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, a little gone too long. The ship is coming down. Can I do like a superhero landing? This is your show. Because I don't, I don't know if I take fall damage or not. Hold on. Didn't even take the teleporter. Oh, that's dope. Superhero landing. Let's go. I don't W's. Very bad man. Hey, don't worry. We've got your back. After you. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it so far. I definitely have some, mm, why do they make that decision kind of things. But I, it definitely has a, a very Marvel Ultimate Alliance feel to it. And I, particularly of the first Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and I really like that. Um, definitely takes me back. And I, I appreciate that. I just love to that I can create my own character. I've been wanting to create my own character in a superhero game for so long. And I finally get the opportunity, so definitely enjoy that. Oh, new piece of gear. We were overwhelmed by his attacks. But only the gods can make or destroy worlds, and Brainiac is no god. From a single man's courage, we have an army of heroes to stand against Brainiac. Together, we shall fight tyranny. From Brainiac, or any other false god. As Wonder Woman, I know that we all have our destiny, and for these heroes, it is the call to greatness. Oh, the Daily Planet, nice. Okay, new piece of gear, that's what's up. Loving the opening narration. Uh, is this just a new cape? I can't tell... Is there a difference? I can't. I can't tell. I don't know if I'm tripping. 
I like it though. I like this outfit that I have in general. Oh cool, this looks like the main hub area. Kind of like in, um, in Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt, which is another free game that I've been playing. That's like a battle royal kind of thing, like uh, Fortnite and some other stuff. Um, the castle was the main hub area for online players. And it looks like a similar thing is the case here. But in the Masquerade, you couldn't really move around like you can as a vampire in the city. But here, that doesn't seem to be the case. They're allowing me to fly all over the, this main hub area. Ooh, Hawkman, Martian Manhunter. What's this? That looks interesting. Uh -oh. Yeah, there's the chat room on the side. Awesome. I like this. Uh, can I see what powers I have? Yes. So I'm currently level, I think I'm level four now. Yeah, you are now level four. So I just have Soul Storm and Vengeance. And then what was innate to me? That's what's up. Okay, you can get allies together. I like it. Ooh, what are deeds? That's interesting. Okay, so this is like a way to catalog the things that you've done. Okay, so the headlines were just the the cutscene that we just saw. Earn renowned points by completing various types of missions for important organizations. Invest investigations. Bring your investigations by finding the green icons hidden throughout the world. Okay. Awesome. It, it feels like there's going to be a lot to do in this game and a lot of reason to keep playing, which I, I really like that. No, definitely put those back on. So if I... Okay, so it doesn't change the cape, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Cool, 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 cool. So what if I want to change the way he looks later, though? How would I do that? Maybe style is the way to change the cosmetics, but they're, everything looks locked right now. Yeah, it looks like it, but everything's locked. Yeah, color palette skin. Yeah, okay. Emotes. Nice. Okay, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me for this. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep playing because it looks like there's a lot to do, a lot to explore. And I'm, I'm, really, I'm really interested in this. And it's already doing some things that I appreciate. So, again, thank you so much for joining me. In the next episode, we'll talk to Oracle Bot and uh, get things moving from there. So if you like this episode, please feel free to like, share and subscribe and definitely tune in to my other content as well. I have a bunch of things on a bunch of nerdy topics involving superheroes and the DC universe and other things. So again, thank you so much for joining me and have a blessed day.